Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome. Welcome from the short break. So we are going to look at why ethics are important in business. But before that, let's look at uh, some examples of ethical issues. So yes, ethics, we talk about principle, we talk about responsibility. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so fraud. Fraud is uh, one of the ethical issues. So fraud is no no for companies. Sustainability. Companies must make sure that they produce to protect the environment for future use. Uh, diversity, exploitation. These are all ethical issues. Okay. So why are ethics important in businesses? Why are they important? Um, ethics, why are they important? So the first one says what? Business ethics are a set of practices and policies that companies use to guide them through decisions about finances. So there should be some regulation, there should be some rules as far as finances of the business is concerned. Yes, it's so important. Uh, business should not window dress their final um, account. They have to state it as it is. They should not add extra figures. So there should be rules governing that, and that talks about ethics. Now, good, yes, it also, of course, and corporate social responsibility. Yes, very, very important. Businesses should not only think about producing, making money for shareholders. No, there are other stakeholders. Of course, shareholders are important, but there are other equally important stakeholders like employees. Employees are also important. Local community, important government. So these are all stakeholders that businesses should be interested in, not only making money for shareholders. And that is ethics or ethical issue. Now, good business ethics ensure customers, employees, and other stakeholders that a company obeys the rules and does the right thing. Yes. So when you have ethics, you have your set of it means that other stakeholders will believe that the company is what or the company has rules or they are doing the right thing because they have rules governing them. Yeah, so it even uh, motivates other stakeholders when you have um, your ethics down or when you have your rules and regulations. Now, when a brand loses trust, it can jeopardize sales and harm employee retention. Yes. Yeah. I like this one. So it means that uh, um, if a business refuses to build a brand and they only concentrate on products, producing or doing business, then it will get to a time where they, they, they will lose their brand or they will lose some credibility. In terms of the um, customer, and when that happens, it will have effect on their revenue, and businesses will not be able to retain their workers. So it's important. Uh, we look at our ethics well in organization. Ethics are very very important. So if you have business, please don't just leave your workers or don't just leave the organization like that. There should be rules and regulations internally. Internally, of course, there is that's not the only ethical issues. There's also the external one. You understand? But all these must be looked at. Because, like, we talk about three levels of um, tri um ethical issues. So we talk about personal ethics, organizational ethics, and professional ethics. So uh, the person is coming with what personal ethics the values, the society, the person was... But when the person comes into the organization, there should be also ethics. There should be culture. Do you understand? There should be culture in the organization that the person should follow. Do you understand? Because the, the company should have ways of doing things. So the person should look at the culture or the... Um, ethics that or the values that the person is bringing from outside and look at what is inside it's important so we are saying that when a brand
increases trust, it can jeopardize sales, and this will harm employee retention. It brings about more scrutiny from government agencies and has vendors question whether it's worth doing business with. Yes, I mean, if you um, have your ethical issues, governments can or will be able to know whatever that you are doing because at the end of the day, you are not hiding anything from government. And that is what um, government or every government is interested in to make sure that every company is doing the right thing. Okay, let's move on. Now, it brings about more scrutiny. Okay, we've looked at that. If, if other businesses don't trust you, they can buy products elsewhere or give their good deals to other buyers. Yes, don't forget that you also, as a business, you also do business with other businesses, isn't it? Yes, but if there is no trust, that's why we talk about branding. If there is no trust, people will not do business with you. They will go to other competitors. So it's, it's important you, 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 like we're saying, you build your trust for both the business and the brand. You see, you build, you build brand for your product, for your business, so that there will be that trust, so that your customers or your clients or other business would always do business with you. So business ethics are critical to good financial planning, yes. In terms of financial planning projections, whether uh, cash flow forecasts or whatever, then we are saying that ethics, all these documents must be governed by business ethics. Businesses must not um, window dress their documents. Yes, they don't have to be adding or subtracting or taking. They have to state the financial state as it is. It's important. And before they can do that, they, that there should be a set of rules to govern their um, doings or whatever that they do. Because if there are no rules, then the business will just, or the account section or department will just do whatever they, uh, they like. But there should be rules to govern that department. That, as a business, this is what we believe in. This is what we've been doing. So all departments must make sure that they work according to that. Okay. So uh, business ethics are critical to good financial and positive earnings. Yes, it's also important as far as positive earnings as well. So friends, uh, it's been nice um, having you this afternoon. So we are uh, we've come to the end of today's program. So today we've looked at ethics, ethical issues, and uh, as part of our branding, I said that if you want to build a brand or build a brand, not just a business, there are other things that you need to do in terms of customer service and um, also um, ethical issues. You need to look at your ethics. What well, is very very important. Um. So um, we are done with uh, week eight, hopefully. Uh, next week, we we'll look at week nine. We we'll look at week nine. Like I said, we are going for 52 weeks marathon, business financial education. First time ever on Digital Space, Jim Martin Dex Show. So guys, make sure that you press the uh, bell button, you subscribe, you share to your friends uh, for our YouTube Facebook at Chikasari Chiamatin, TikTok at Chiamatin24. So today has been nice having you guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll meet again. To God be the glory. Bye bye.